A big topic this morning is a giant tax fraud, uh, more than $5 billion uh, using Puerto Rican stolen identities, in effect. Joanna Chung here is, uh, is here to talk about it. Uh, it was a fascinating story this morning. Tell yeah, us how this... It's a really interesting story. It's a big tax scam, and it's been going on for a while, for at least five years. Um, and it's, um, it's being done by using uh, stolen Puerto Rican identities. So the way it works is, um, there are people who are stealing the social security numbers and identities of the Puerto Ricans who live in Puerto Rico. And Puerto Ricans, of course, don't have to pay federal income tax. So what they do is they take the identities, then they file false tax returns to the IRS and um, in a way that they will get a refund. And the IRS assumes that these are Puerto Ricans who've moved to the United States to right, work, exactly. but they're still exempted from taxes. Exactly. So if you know, if, if no one has worked in the continental U.S., there's no you know information out there, so there's no way to really detect it easily. Yeah, a fascinating piece of the story was in some cases mail carriers were involved in the fraud, intercepting the refund checks to get them to the. That's fraudsters. right. This is yeah. There, that's a really interesting element of it. So when the refund checks go out, you have to find a way to get them, and in some cases they ask or they have hired um, mail carriers to intercept the refund checks when they're arriving at the addresses um, so that they can they can cash them in but i'd like to add i mean yes. in some cases the you know the, the the mail carriers also notice that there are a lot of refund checks of different names going to the same addresses and they sometimes report that. So they well, kind so of played both how, roles, Yeah, right? so how did the fraud get uh, broken? How did it get found out? I mean, that, that, that's one of the, um, it, you, you, Through I, I think the, one of the very first instances, this is about five years ago when they realized something was going on was because they caught a mail carrier um, intercepting some of this mail. Yeah. So um, they caught him and then they kind of, you know, sort of and, figured out it was going on in various places. And I just want to be clear about this because I saw Evan's eyelids open for a minute there. This is how not- How did you see him? This <laughs> You're is, looking no, at me. I know. This is a scheme, this is not a scheme he can use to reduce his taxes, no, right? I'm afraid he can. I'm afraid he can. The IRS is so busy going after rich people and auditing them that they've sent out tens of thousands of checks to um, to uh, Puerto Ricans who don't exist or who exist in a different they're place. They're real. They're real. They're just in a different they're place. They're different. Right. Different place. Yeah. So they're so busy going after um, whether or not your neighbors in What's Greenwich the... are spending enough time in New York What's City the... or not. All right, all right, they all right. I'm sorry. I can't keep I, 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 I'm sorry, topic, I awakened it's okay. the dog. It's not but, all uh, uh, Tell us the history of the uh, of the uh, Puerto Rican tax exemption. So you don't, if you live in Puerto Rico, you yeah. don't pay any taxes to the federal I guess, government. I guess you can call it a sort of unintended loophole, but it goes back to a long, long time ago during, you know, the early, you know, 1900s when Puerto Rico became part of the United States. It's just part of that agreement. Yeah. They just don't yeah, pay federal you would, tax. You would think, though, that if you were Puerto Rican and you moved to the United States and you were earning income in the United States, that Right, and I think that's apply. also another way that the, that the law and yeah exactly because if you're like any victim of identity theft right you yeah. don't really know that you are a victim until something happens where you see oh my god you know my, my social security is being used for, for something when you file a tax return for the first time for instance so and, and you find out that somebody else has been exactly, using your, yeah. your social yeah. security yet letter. another what example Alan of what of of the craziness of the tax code in our country. Basically, whenever <laughs> oh, there's... Come when, on, oh, Evan. absolutely. Absolutely. The whole thing is... It's nice to have such a neat worldview that <laughs> yeah, you can fit absolutely. any story are you, are you into it Abs so easily. If the tax code was simple and you didn't have an exemption like the Puerto Rican exemption, you wouldn't have a problem. Yeah, so you just you're 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 yes, you I'm think Puerto Ricans <laughs> should be paying more taxes? Uh, they should if they're American citizens. They should be paying taxes jo like everybody else. <laughs> Joanna, Absolutely. I think we're going to let you go before this gets too deep. It's been fun. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>